You all know and love the Careless Whisper saxophone solo and I'm going to show you step by step how to do that glissando at the beginning of the song. It sounds like this. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that glissando at the beginning of that solo step by step, break it down for you, show you how to practice it so you can start applying it not only to this sax solo, but to any note on the saxophone. The first thing you want to keep in mind is we're starting on the note D. Let me show you. So we start on D, which is those three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right hand and the octave key. And we do a run or a glissando all the way up the D major scale to C sharp. And we're holding down the octave key the whole time. So we're going D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp with the octave key on the back. So I'm going to break down how to practice this step by step. But before I do, my name is Alexander Mathias from saxophonemasterclass.com and you're in the right place if you're trying to learn and master the saxophone. If you want to discover how I teach my students how to master the saxophone, how to learn their favorite songs, how to improve their tone, go and check out my free saxophone mastery secrets webinar. There's a link below in the description or just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash secrets and I break everything down for you and show you exactly what you should be practicing so you're not wasting wasting time and you're practicing smarter, not harder. So the notes of the D major scale are D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and C sharp. So I'm going to show you all those fingerings now and then I'm going to break down how to actually practice these glissandos so you can apply them to any note on the sax. So again, the D major scale is three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right hand, and this octave key on the back. So we're going to start on D. Then we're going to move up to E, which is again three fingers in the left hand, but two fingers in the right hand. Move on to F sharp, which is this middle finger here, three fingers in the left hand. Up to G, just three fingers in the left hand. And again, we're pressing the octave key this whole time. Up to A, two fingers in the left hand. Up to B, one finger in the left hand. And then finally C sharp, no fingers, but just the octave key in the back. So you want to practice all of those fingerings in order to warm up for this glissando because eventually we're going to be playing it with speed. We're going to run up the entire scale as fast as we can. So you want to actually break it down and play as slowly as possible at first. Don't tongue any of the notes, just move smoothly from one note to the other like this. So we're not tonguing any of the notes and you want to just start building up speed. So this is hard to do, it's hard to build up speed like this, but you can actually break down the D major scale into two different parts. So you can actually start on G and just practice going G to C sharp. And so this is just a little cheat. You can actually start on G and just go to C sharp like this. So we can actually start on G and move up the scale starting there, G, A, B, C sharp, and just go slowly and build up speed like this. So if you're able to get that, you're already halfway there because now we're just going to go down to D and move up to G like this, D, E, F sharp, G. Again, take it slowly and build up speed. So these are actually glissandos in their own right. If you want to do a glissando up to G from D, that is a perfectly good glissando. It doesn't have to be more than three or four notes. So D, E, F sharp, G is enough notes for glissando. But in this case, we want to go from D all the way up to C sharp. So what you want to do is practice D, E, F sharp, G, then practice G, A, B, C sharp, and then combine the two to create a big glissando. 
So that's the way I would break down how to get that glissando at the beginning of Careless Whisper. Break it into two parts. Start on D, just go up to G, try G going up to C sharp, and then combine the two. And just, again, build up speed gradually. Start slow and build up speed gradually so you can get that speed in your fingers. So that is how you play the glissando on the Careless Whisper solo. Again, if you want to learn more about how to improve your tone, how to improve your scales, how to improve your finger speed on a sound check out my free saxophone mastery secrets webinar there's a link below in the description or just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash secrets now if you want to learn the entire careless whisper sax solo i have another lesson on it here go and check it out and i even give you the fingerings and the note names for you to download absolutely free so go and check it out now and until next time my friend have a great day have a great week and happy playing